Oh yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Hi all! Hi everyone! Can you hear me this time? Hey Leo, can you hear me? <laughs> Boomer, hi bud. <laughs> hey Lucy, hi everyone. Okay, you can hear me. Amazing. Get back in screen. Okay. a lot in my Instagram DMs and I figured the easiest way to answer it and have it be a resource for everyone is for me to just talk about it here and then share the live so people can watch the video whenever they can. Dan is behind the camera. He's going to be asking the questions. We made a list of all the questions and the topics we want to cover and Boomer is going to be guiding me along the way. Um, just to get a quick introduction about Boomer out of the way because I know that will be a lot of questions. Boomer is a Samoyed. They're a breed from Siberia, similar to the Huskies. They're like the cousins of the Huskies. They're a double-coated dog. They're vocal. They're friendly. Uh, Boomer is four years old and his birthday is on May 5th. Um, so he's four and a half now. Okay. Um, all right, Dan. Want to ask the first question? Sure. Tell us a little bit about Boomer's day in life. Okay. And there's 26 bucks on right now. Okay. Right. okay, great. Um, so for Boomer's day in the life, Boomer is the last one in our family to wake up. He is usually pretty sleepy in the mornings. Um, we, he actually does not sleep in the bed. I know that's something else we get asked a lot. Boomer is usually in the bathroom, in the cold area. He wakes up last, so we have like bedroom downstairs and our living room upstairs and Dan and I are already up and then Boomer slowly joins us upstairs. Um, then he's, he's kind of sleepy now too. Um, and then we, as soon as Boomer is up and I have my coffee, we do Zen time in the morning, which is Boomer doing spot training and I do some kind of mindful activity. So either that's meditation or journaling. So it's just a way for us to really start our day strong. Uh, Boomer goes on Spark, which is his bed. It's currently outside. Uh, Boomer goes on that and I wait till he falls asleep on his Spark. He's sort of worked up to this. Boomer's been doing Spark training every single day. And so he goes, uh, once he falls asleep, we're ready to start our walk. This ensures that Boomer is sort of in a calm state of mind and our walk is a lot more successful. Once Boomer finishes his walk, we come back. He goes back on Spark because Walking is a very excitable activity for him. We come back and then I make his breakfast. He has his breakfast. Once, <laughs> once he has his food, then uh, usually I start my work day and I'm doing either editing or filming. And if it's filming, it's with Boomer. Um, Boomer sort of is very good with the on and off switch. Uh, midday, we'll do like a short training session. Usually I like to do training sessions in short intervals throughout the day, it sort of keeps the engagement up, it keeps us excited, and it keeps Boomer happy too, and it's a good way to keep building up on your training. Um, and then in the evening, Dan takes Boomer for a long walk, that's kind of Dan's unwind activity, um, and he gets his time, I get my alone time, and Boomer walks with Dan for about 45 minutes to an hour. So Boomer gets about two hours of exercise, like walks every single day, and then after the evening walk, we do, again, like spot training, Boomer gets his dinner, and then it's bedtime. Um, and then on the weekends, we do lots of different activities with him. So we do like swimming, or we'll take him hiking, or barn hunt, or something like that. All right, that's his day in the life, but we'll film a video for you about it soon. All right, um, 
Next question is mistakes we made with Boomer. Okay, this is a good one. And I think we've had Boomer uh, for four years now, or four and a half years. Um, Boomer is uh, my first dog ever. So there are several mistakes I made with Boomer as a puppy, which I wanna share. So the first one is not properly socializing him. So dog socialization is really important and it doesn't mean bringing your dog to a dog park or to daycare or, you know, like puppy play. That is not proper dog socialization. It is sort of desensitizing them to various environments that cause a state of arousal. Um, so I made a mistake of taking him to dog parks all the time and I think that's something that we had to work on really hard to negate the dog reactivity that came from it. Boomer wanted to say hi to every dog and we had to like sort of stop that. Um, the second thing is we used a Furminator. Boobies! Hi! <laughs> we used a Furminator which is um, like a de-shedding tool which is really really horrible for double coated dogs. So if you have one at home, throw it away. It cut his undercoat a lot and his coat was like really horrible when he was a puppy. Luckily it's been able to recover since then because it was before his adult coat had come in. Uh, number three is uh, proper loose leash walking. We did not train Boomer on how to walk when he was a puppy and we didn't really start till he was nine months old and that was a big learning hurdle for us. Um, what else am I forgetting? Um, Breeder said not to vaccinate. Oh yeah, our breeder had told us to not vaccinate Boomer, but I think that would have been a big mistake. We listened to our vet and Boomer gets all his vaccines on time. We also have health insurance for Boomer and definitely recommend that. All right, here's a few quick, answer, answer a few quick questions that sure. came in. What's Boomer's favorite toy? Boomer loves balls, any kind of ball, but his ultimate favorite toy, which is not in his crate right now, is Bear. He has this bear stuffy. If you've seen his Instagram post, he loves bear and brings him everywhere. That's his favorite toy. What's his current daily diet? Boomer's on a raw diet, but when we are traveling, we give him fresh food that's easy to travel with. Um, either like freshly air dried or freeze dried options that make, a, make it easy to travel. Okay, great. Um, next question is, can you just talk about his grooming routine? Sure. Um, so Boomer's grooming uh, for any double-coated dog or a Samoyed in general, they, uh, their coat is very high maintenance, so they need to be brushed very regularly. I use two different brushes to groom Boomer, either a slicker brush or a butter comb. Um, and I brush him almost once a week. I blow dry him multiple times a week. It's really, really important to have a really good blow dryer. And then Boomer gets a bath about once every two to three months. Um, sometimes I give him a bath, but most times he goes to a groomer, he goes to a healthy spot here, and um, he gets a bath there. No cutting of hair ever, un unless it's the little paws. So like this area gets cut, <laughs> this one. And then uh, scissors go in no other area of his uh, fur. Okay. Someone asks, can you please put a Christmas hat on Boomer? All right, let's do it. Um, should we put a headband? Headband looks good. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. Only because only there's no treats around, huh? Okay. <laughs> What's our next question? Yeah, um, tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah. Someone okay. also keeps asking, are you from, do you have, are you uh, Indian origin? Yes. So, uh, my name's Charishma. It was Charishma Kalyanda before I got married to Dan. Um, I grew up in India, in Bangalore, um, for the first 19 years of my life. And then I moved to the U.S. in 2009. Um, and, yeah, and then I lived in Illinois, lived in New York. Uh, went to grad school in New York, which is where Dan and I met. We got married when we were in New York, and then we moved to Los Angeles, California in 2019. Um, Dan is from Buffalo, New York, um, where it's usually really cold. Uh, but Boomer loves it there. He loves visiting his grandparents. And um, yeah, it's a little bit about us. All right. 
Any other questions from the group? So people are asking, um, when's Boomer's birthday? How old? Just remind one more okay. time. Okay, Boomer is four. His birthday is on May 5th. Um, four and a half now. And where'd you get him from? Uh, Boomer is from Abrita in Connecticut. Okay. Okay. We have one last question, I believe. Um, the last question is about yeah, we've covered four. The last question is uh, about being a content creator. I get uh, frequently asked if Boomer, uh, if not Boomer, if I always had this plan and vision of being a content creator, and I did not. When we got Boomer um, in 2018, I created an Instagram account just to post pictures of him because I didn't want to annoy our friends and family by posting pictures of Boomer non-stop on my Instagram. So I made a separate channel for him. His, um, I think the first video that ever went viral, this was way before Reels, was of me carrying him as a puppy. Um, and then since then, I sort of have just been enjoying posting on Instagram because it just was like a creative outlet for me. I used to love all kinds of creative uh, activities as a, when I was younger. And um, I had an engineering job, so it sort of was like a way for me to just be creative on the side. And eventually we started to make income from it and we partnered with amazing brands that we still really love and use and sort of grew our um, channels across Instagram, um, TikTok, and now even YouTube. I really have started to enjoy YouTube a lot um, and I want to focus on making longer videos here and sort of has now become my full-time job. At least 10 people are saying, can you have Boomer do the ear dance? Uh-oh. No, he doesn't do it on demand. <laughs> he, has, he has to be in the mood for the ear dance, and, and right now it doesn't look like he's into it. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. But we do have Boomer's <laughs> advent calendar that we're going to open. So I'm going to grab it. Hold it tight. <laughs> So Boomer will be choosing his number live for the advent calendar today. So he's, I'll show you his calendar. He opened 10 yesterday. Hey Boomer, choose, choose one. No, not over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he chooses all. <laughs> Show it a little close to the camera. What that is? Maybe take it out first. Okay, and this is what it looks like. It's not focusing. Okay. Let me give him one. It's an elk chew. It's elk tenderloin. It's just a treat. Is it not? Okay, there we go. Yep, it okay, is. <laughs> elk tenderloin treat. Brooke and a few people are asking how you chose Boomer as his name. Leave it. Boomer, look. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, don't, we don't have any interesting story about it. We sort of just Googled and thought that Boomer was a good name for his picture that we saw. We'll make him choose. I'm gonna have one empty hand and one with a treat, and we'll see if he picks the right one, okay? Okay, 
Choose. Choose one. You sure? <gasps> yes! <laughs> Good boy! Oh. Okay, say bye to everyone. Can you give me a high five? Thank you. Bye, everyone. See you bye. soon.